This is the next video in the carbohydrate series to watch the previous videos. Here in this video, we are going to talk about stereoisomers of monosaccharides. Uh, we know that monosaccharides have uh, chiral carbon atoms and that is why they have lot of stereoisomers. So depending upon that, let's talk about the first one that's the easiest one, enantiomers. Now we all know what are enantiomers. Whenever there are chiral carbon atoms, uh, you get number of stereoisomers and when those stereoisomers are non-superimposable mirror images of each other, they are called as enantiomers. Okay. In carbohydrates, if I take example of uh, glyceraldehyde, uh, which has only one chiral carbon atom. So, if one chiral carbon atom is there, so 2 raised to 1, that means 2 isomers uh, will be there. That means a pair of enantiomers, one right, one left. And if you watch my previous videos, this is the D-glyceraldehyde, this is L-glyceraldehyde and they both are mirror images of each other. Similarly, you can have a glucose where, uh, I'll first quickly draw the structure of glucose. Okay, and if you have watched my previous videos, this is nothing but D-glucose. Okay, and D-glucose, this is D-glucose. Okay, the L series, remember the L series is then enantiomer. Uh, so the L series and the D series are enantiomers of each other because they form mirror images. They are, they don't form mirror images, they are mirror images of each other. Okay, so this structure is L glucose, which is exactly mirror image of D glucose. So enantiomers here in, is specifically with monosaccharides because they have more than one or one asymmetric carbon atoms they have large number of stereoisomers although hexoses have around 16 isomers out of which there are eight pairs of enantiomers okay next is diastereomers so what are diastereomers these are also stereoisomers but they are not mirror images of each other they are optical isomers in enantiomers they have equal and opposite rotations whereas in diastereomers the rotations are completely different they have a specific value of rotation okay and they are most importantly not mirror images of each other and definitely not superimposable on each other okay so uh, for example d glucose so when i say d glucose when i draw l glucose this is nothing but what mirror image of each other so these two are an enantiomer of each other okay but then if i draw d galactose if you look at the difference between structures of d galactose or for that matter d uh, for l l glucose d galactose compare it with d glucose d galactose compare it with l glucose the structures are different and how are they differing if you compare between d galactose and d glucose you can clearly see that it is differing in fourth carbon atom one two three four okay so uh, what does that mean that if you, these are not definitely mirror images of each other because they are not mirror images of each other still they are stereoisomers hence these are diastereomers okay uh, like i have just made this video and if you can see these are all diastereomers of each other and these are all d series and l series is an exactly a uh, mirror image of each other so th they are enantiomers of each other so right now what you see on your screen are diastereomers so this is one of the example of diastereomers. Okay. If you look at compare with glucose, altrose is a diastereomer of glucose. Mannose is a diastereomer of glucose. If you compare structures of glucose and altrose, uh, they differ in these two carbons. Okay. First and second carbon atom. Whereas D mannose, it differs uh, here. Okay. The rest of the structure is same. So remember this here, it is differing only at one carbon now this gives rise to the next uh, type of stereoisomers which are called as epimers which are special types of diastereomers where the two structures differ at only one carbon atom okay so they are differing only at one asymmetric carbon atom sorry uh, yeah so they are differing only at one asymmetric carbon atom and because they are differing at asymmetric carbon atom they are interconvertible and this process of uh, you know interconversion is called as epimerization 
okay and these type of diastereomers which differs at only one carbon atom are called as epimers so when i say d glucose and d mannose i would say that these are epimers of each other because they are differing only at one carbon atom and rest of the structure is exactly same similarly if you go for d glucose and d galactose you can clearly see they are differing only at fourth carbon atom and they are epimers of each other so epimers when you are talking about epimers we are talking about the difference in only one carbon atom in case of diastereomers the difference could be between one or more carbon atoms and hence epimers are called as special types of diastereomers and they are interconvertible okay i hope you have understood this next are enomers now what enomers exactly are when i draw the straight chain of glucose six carbons i have shown in the first video how to remember the structure of glucose okay this is my fisher projection formula straight chain fisher pro open structure is your fisher projection formula okay so this is your c double bond o this is h now this is my first carbon second third fourth fifth there is cyclization taking place where this oh uh you know it forms a bond with this carbon and the carbon forms a bond with this so there is a cyclic cyclization taking place so the cyclization is taking place between first and fifth carbon we will in the next video we will study how to draw the cyclic structure okay so right now you just remember this is a cyclization taking place now rest of the structure the carbons which are not involved in the cyclization the positions of the oh remain the same now what has happened here this was a this was not asymmetric carbon atom but after cyclization this becomes an asymmetric carbon atom because now it is attached to four different groups so i place my oh so one possibility is when the oh bond forms here oh goes on the right hand side and the other possibility over here is oh is going on the left hand side rest of the structure remains the same now i'm not drawing the whole structure okay so the important part is initially this was not chiral now the carbon has become chiral and now your oh is on the left hand side okay so these are called as anomers and this carbon the first carbon where its configuration has changed this carbon is called as anomeric carbon atom okay so all the enomers are arising due to ring structures of monosaccharide this is open chain this is ring chain open chain is called as fisher ring chain is called as hevoth projection formula stereoisomers of monosaccharides which differ in configuration only at the anomeric carbon atom are called as anomers so this is my anomeric carbon atom the structure is different only at the first or the anomeric carbon atom rest of the structure remains the same okay all anomers are cyclic monosaccharides or glycosides they are epimers they are also epimers because they are differing only at one carbon atom okay and the epimeric carbon is known as anomeric carbon atom if oh is on the right hand side it is called as the alpha anomer if it is on the left hand side it is called as the beta anomer i have shown the hevoth projection formula the same hevoth can be drawn like this furanos pure pyrano structures which we are going to deal with study that later these are your pyrano structure this is your furan you can see for alpha oh we write it on the uh, right down and in beta we write up on the upper side we don't worry we'll do that uh, in the next series so basically these are your anomers so this first carbon where the configuration has where your oh was right left this is your anomeric carbon rest of the structure if you can see it is exactly same okay so in aldoses the first carbon is the anomeric carbon atom because your functional group is on the first carbon and in ketoses your second carbon is the anomeric carbon atom because in ketoses if i take an example of fructose um 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 uh this is fructose i'm drawing d fructose over here so here the cyclization is taking place between the second carbon atom and it sixth carbon atom it can be fifth also that gives you furanose pyrano structures because your uh, uh, second carbon atom is involved and here oh goes on right left so second carbon becomes your anomeric carbon atom 
okay so this you just have to remember oh right hand side alpha enomer oh left hand side is beta enomer so this was all about enomers epimers diastereomers okay i hope you have understood this do watch and wait for the next videos thank you